So in this part two of the, the game planning and, and practice planning, it's going to be a lot of film. Okay, I'm going to show you all the drills we talked about and how we save time and how it relates to game planning. Okay, so time saving drills. All right, and we mentioned this, talked about saving, you know, saving time and getting getting it on and off the practice field so your players can recover. All right, so some of uh, some of the ways we still uh, still time is OL prep work, RPO drills, quarterback drills, quarterback chalk talk, routes uh, with wide receivers. We take care of it. We take advantage of every minute. So the OL prep work, our co-offense coordinator, uh, Coach Mazer, he he takes the OL during special teams and they walk through every play versus every front on the script. All right, so that so. When they go to run the plays on the scripts, they've already walked through them versus the fronts, all right? So instead of meeting time, they actually get out on the field and they walk through things while the special teams is going on, okay? Or maybe they're working a combo drill, or maybe they're doing, you know, they take advantage of that time. I'm gonna show you some film of that. RPO drills. You gotta drill RPOs. RPOs are a skill set on how to throw them, that sort of thing. I'm gonna take you through what we do. We do it during punt team or special team, still time. Quarterback drills, chalk talk, all the quarterback work that I do as far as individual work once the season starts. We're talking about in season drills. Once the season starts, you know, we do it, we still time during special teams drill. Uh, and, you know, routes with the court receivers, you know, we may work goal line fades or what. You know, if they're not on the special team, they're over there with the quarterbacks getting them work with no downtime. Combining drills like run tracks with RPOs and routes on air, things like that. Uh, we talked about team pass. Remember, we talked about team pass in part one. I'm going to show you what that looks like. And then team run with the RPOs. I'm going to show you what that looks like as well. That's what this part two is all about, to show you what these practice, practice uh, time-saving drills look like. All right, so right here, this is just a small little RPO drill that we're working with our quarterback, okay? We go through, and he's turning to, he's working his drops on throwing the football, throwing the RPO. All right, we're doing this during, during special teams. So this isn't the individual period, okay? This is during practice, during, during special teams. As you can see, we can get it filmed. And, and we're working the, the skill set on uh, on the, that particular RPO throw. Right here, this is pre-practice as well. As you can see, the receivers are involved now. All right. Of course, some of them have their helmet off. Some of them are chilling out a little bit. That's fine. This is all pre-practice stuff. We're still in time. And he's throwing to a static uh, target. All right. So find ways to still time and work your drills during practice, okay? All this is just quarterback RPO drill work. It's a great thing. He's just working his pop pass here. Another quarterback RPO drill work session. Okay, now, this part right here, this is combining two drills in one. This is combining the run tracks all right, so we're running our run tracks. We're, you know, we got the bag set up. Maybe we're working power here, or you know, I think yeah, we're working power right here. All right, and we're working with another quarterback, an RPO throw. Now, the cool thing about doing this, okay, if we were just running run tracks, you know, we were just practicing run tracks, all right, for ten minutes. Well, the other quarterbacks that aren't going, aren't handing the ball off, they would just be standing there, right? Why not combine the drills? You know, now, you know, normally it would take, it would take, um, it would take, you know, 20 minutes for to work routes versus air or RPO throws and run tracks. But when you combine the drills, it only takes 10 minutes. So you already cut half you know, half of those, half of that time there. That's kind of what, how we set it up in practice. Great way to maximize 
practice. Right here, this is in camp. All right. So we got more time in camp because we practice longer, right? And it's all football. The kids aren't in school yet. Coaches aren't teaching yet. So we got more time. But I still add a net to work RPO throws because I don't want to waste a minute. All right. I don't want to waste time. So we got two quarterbacks up. One's handing the ball off. One's throwing the uh, throwing the RPO. So that's a way you can save time uh, uh, working different drills, you know, practice. Same thing here. They're running run tracks with the receivers. Running run tracks here with the receivers and working goal line routes. So combining your drills. Okay, right here is an example of getting some O-line work during special teams. Right here, they're working their, their zone Backside of zone, just do, working a half line drill, okay, and nothing, you know, nothing uh, special about it. But the cool thing about this is, and this is what I want you to keep in mind, they're working this backside zone drill during special teams. This isn't extra time, so being able to work this during special teams is great. We also got a fullbacks coach there, and he's working the fullbacks, okay. So they'll work the front side, the back side, and then they'll work the front side. They're working the back side again in this clip, but you know they can't work in. It's not not strenuous. It's just stepping to where they're supposed to step and working the drill. So it's just a little half line drill that they work, um, and they'll go through all the plays. They'll go through all the plays before we even run. Saving time on not only, uh, you know, because uh, uh, this drill right here would take 10 minutes to run, okay? Um, but because we're doing it during pre-practice, it doesn't add to the overall length of the practice. The other thing that I want to point out, too, is if you look here, that's our defense staff here, okay? He's, he's not working a special team, so he comes over and helps line the kids up, all right? So that's part of the thing about being organized. Everybody having a job to do, communicating to the defense staff, hey, I may need help right here. I may, if you got an extra coach, can you send him down during this time? And they do so. Same thing with us. Defense may come to me. I run our scout defense. All right. I don't stand over there and do nothing. Our, our defense coordinator asked me to run the scout defense. So I run the scout defense. So communicate with coaches on who's doing what. That way, practice runs as smoothly as possible. Right here, now it's a whole part, different deal. As you can see, defense coach has cards. Remember, we script everything. And this is one of the drills where we're walking through, walking through our inside drill. So we're getting them aligned, they have bags, and we're just stepping. And they're working pass pro here. This is a pass pro period during special teams which is a great thing. You know, they're working blitzes on who to come off to, and they're just walking through it. Low stress environment, a lot of teaching going on, walking through stuff. Then that way when we go to team pass and it's fast paced, they've already seen every pressure on the walkthrough. Here's where we were late, late in the year, we were facing an odd stack team and we wanted to work an extra inside drill. We put the extra inside drill, all right, uh, during special teams, because we had all of our offensive line there, our quarterback and running back. Now I know, understand some running backs are on special teams, but really this drill was more for the offensive linemen. So they just mirrored the inside script and we worked through our inside runs. Remember, you know, they got bags, so nobody's going to the ground. They're just kind of walking through and stepping through their backs. And working the play scheme. So again, this is just an inside run period that we stole time by running. All right, so earlier I talked about combining RPO throws 
and inside run. Well, this is how we do it. As you see, we've got three quarterbacks up. Okay, so these three quarterbacks are working in RPO throws. This quarterback on the left, he's working the quick game RPO, uh, whether it's a vertical route or a hitch or whatever we're working that week. This quarterback on the right, he's working the fast screen. And then for the box, from tackle to tackle, the quarterback in the middle calling for the ball and handing it off, he's working the inside run period. So we have basically three drills in one here, which is a great thing. We're getting reps, we're getting reps, and no, no waste of time. And combining the drills to save time to get our kids home earlier, get our coaches home earlier, all right? So we avoid burnout. It's not a thing where nobody wants to work hard. That's not what we're saying, all right? You can do both. You can be a great football coach and you can not burn yourself out. That way you've got energy on Friday nights. You've got energy late in November when it's time to go win big playoff games. you got the en energy to push through because you're not running the ground tired. So that's our team run. It's a great period. Uh, we're working inside run. We're working perimeter throws. It's, it's a great way to maximize the time you have on the field. So as you see, a lot of clips here of, of that practice. Same thing here. You know, our strength coach spots the ball. We always make sure we have someone to spot the ball. You, know, you can get anybody in the, in the program to do that whether it's a defensive coach or an offensive coach or someone needs to be designated to be your ball spotter. Our, uh, our, uh, our uh, strength coach is the one that does that. Here, you know, this is just a traditional inside run period. So a lot of people are already run this. So we find that this was, you know, this was good. We like it, but we like the team pass better. I mean, the team run better. <clears throat> Here's a sideline view of it just to give you a better look at it, what it looks like. See your quarterbacks there throwing the, throwing the balls and the inside guys are handing off. So this is just kind of a side view of it so you can kind of see what it looks like from the side. All right, team pass. Like I said earlier, instead of seven on seven, we do team pass. All right, now we got Guys in front of the quarterback. We got pressures coming. The court running back has to pick up, blitz pick up. He's got to identify who he's responsible for in the protection and all that good stuff. And we're getting our routes. It's more realistic. It's like a game. But we're combining blitz pick up. We're combining pass pro period with 7-on-7. Seven seven, and we're getting our quarterback a more realistic look at what it's going to look like on Friday night when he's throwing the football. Here's a few looks at this. Just running through our pass script, you know, so this is what we do instead of seven on seven. You know, if this is a great example. If we ran this play in seven on seven, all right, and this guy blitzed, you know, we may have not have thrown it out to him, all right, because it's not like a real scenario. The quarterback may think, well, this lineman may pick him up. Well, by doing team pass, the lineman does his job, and the quarterback understands that he's got to get it to the back right now because he's in that pro – that's his progression throw. That's his hot throw. So it really helps your quarterback know where to go with the football when you're working that. They're throwing the ball downfield. Here's a sideline view of it. You know, you got everybody involved. Work your sprint out. You know, it's just a more realistic look. You know, you can, let's say that we run a bunch of sprint outs and sell it on set. Okay, that's great. That's great. Did the line work it? The line may have not work sprint out. Everybody's on the same page here. Everybody's working sprint out right here in this clip. So then the same thing here, screens. That's the biggest thing right here. You know, 
It's hard to work spring. Uh, that's not a good clip or tackle for a poor job, but this ain't really a screen clinic. So, but I put this clip in here because I wanted to show you, you know, if, if you're doing a screen period, you call it a, sprint, a screen period, the defense knows it's a screen. So, that, you know, they're scout team guys. They're 10th graders. They're 15 years old. They want to try to go make a play. Well, if you mix it in your team pass period, all right, they don't know, it. They don't know when the screen's coming. So it's a more realistic look, and you get a better rep out of it. So you can mix your screens in during your uh, team pass periods. So this is our team pass. We do, again, we do this instead of seven on seven, just to get more reps. So that's that's really how we organize practice. That's how we put together our practice and our game plan. Remember, it's fluid. It's all it's always um, always changing up until Wednesday. Wednesday is when we really we don't want to make any more changes after Wednesday. All right, whether it's formation or or maybe a, a formation or personnel group, whatever. We don't make big changes after Wednesday. And typically we don't like to make changes uh, after Tuesday, but on Wednesday, sometimes you may have to throw some things in. So that wraps that up. Um, hopefully we're gonna get some more um, uh, sessions on here. We're gonna add some more content. Uh, I will be adding some documents on there, kind of, uh, you know, a document showing everybody's responsibilities and jobs and the film breakdown and things like that that will help you maximize your game planning and, and your practice time. So again, get on the Q&A, 6.30 Eastern time. Um, right now, that's the schedule on Mondays uh, and also the uh, Glazer Drive forms. Uh, click on offense, click on pro gun spread system, and then there's the forms right there. You can communicate, reach out to me that way. And, uh, and, and enjoy the, everything that we've, we've worked. Uh, Glazer Clinics has worked really hard in uh, making sure that we provide as much content to football coaches as we can uh, during this pandemic. And uh, we've done a tremendous job with it, I think. So um, check it out and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.